welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. All right, well, let's talk about Flight Simulator 2020 and some of the very first few aircraft that's made it into the marketplace. Uh, just so you can get kind of an idea of what's uh, been made so far. So, basically... Carinado has already released a couple of planes, the C-182T, and they just recently released the M-20R Ovation, which I've been told uh, is actually a really good aircraft. Uh, when I saw it here on the marketplace, uh, it kind of picked, picked my interest. Now, the C-182T, I've heard some mixed things about it mostly negative uh, but then I also heard that it was patched and it's a little better than when it was released I don't know I don't have it um, but here are some pictures here uh, that we can go ahead and just kind of take a look at I don't know if these are okay so this is the 182 T here now Karen Auto they've always made good looking aircrafts um, it's debatable on whether they were good quality flying aircrafts um, I have noticed that the ones for X-Plane uh, have been better than the ones for P3D or FSX so yeah here's some stuff for uh, the 182T, and hopefully we'll we'll get to see uh, the ovation here. So some very nice stuff. Hey, look, an actual pad that works. <laughs> I did a live stream uh, with the 787. Didn't go too well uh, <laughs> as far as how I landed. So if you want some comedy. Uh, go take a look at past live streams that I've done uh, on YouTube and uh, you'll get yourself a good laugh. Uh, but on that, there's like a tablet, which didn't do apps. It didn't do anything at all. It was kind of disappointing. Okay, I think that's all of it there. So that's just the 182. Oh, it looks like the ovation's down below. So... Karen Auto is known for maintaining a large catalog of aircraft for FSX, P3D, and X-Plane. And they have just released their second aircraft into the marketplace, uh, which is the Ovation that we mentioned. And this comes with uh, the Microsoft G1000 built in. Um, I would like to have an old-fashioned plane that doesn't have the G1000, just because... You know, I've played all the way back in Flight Simulator 2 where you just have the radios. Um, and and it's it's got a little bit of a fun challenge when you have to, you know, tune in uh, the nav radios and, and uh, make your flight that way instead of, you know, having modern day uh, electronics. I, it's got a little bit of a challenge and a little bit of fun and, and some adventure to it also because when you get things tuned in or if you got to use a couple of uh, vores to pinpoint your exact location and I don't know it's uh, kind of adventurous in a way uh, but so far impressions have been positive on the aircraft well I don't know about the first one <laughs> not from what I've heard with flight dynamics similar to other flight simulator aircraft oh come on now some of the dynamics on the other flight simulator aircraft are not not quite there uh, functional systems uh, including the ability to open doors and windows. Oh, there aren't any other flight simulator aircraft in the default game where you can open up doors and windows. So that's a little bit of false information here. Yes, the Carinado ones, you can open up the door and open up the windows. But the default ones, no. Which is a bit disappointing because with FSX... Uh, I, FS9 and, and maybe FS8, uh, opening the door was was they it was kind of a thing. It was the uh, Shift E key for exit. So I don't know. Uh, 
But they've recently released the Mooney M20R, which is a 1994 era civil era civil aircraft. Um, there's been 11,000 M20s built since 1983. It comes with steam gauges, which might be of interest to many who are less interested in the wide variety of glass instrument aircraft. Oh, does this one? No, it says it comes with a G1000. So, uh, you know, I want I want old fashioned. But here are some pictures here of the. And like I said, this does look like a very good aircraft uh, to fly. I'd very much like to get this and maybe do a review, but um, I don't exactly have any income coming in right now. Also released is Big Tire Productions. Uh, they are releasing the Kit Fox. Uh, this is a combined X-Plane and uh, MSFS product. Big Tire Productions, they're working on a Kit Fox for both X-Plane and Microsoft Flight Simulator. I think this is out already now. Uh, the Bush Plane is a kit built light sport aircraft, very similar in style to many other Bush Planes. Owners of this aircraft on xplane.org store can download the Microsoft Flight Simulator version for free from the store. Uh, how does that work? <laughs> Uh, I guess you have to go to their store or something. I mean, how is the Microsoft Flight Simulator store going to know you bought the X-Plane version? I don't know. Uh, meanwhile, you can also buy the Kit Fox on the xplane.org store for $32.99. Uh, for that plane, I don't know. I don't know if $33 is worth it for that. Maybe half of it. I don't know. If you have the plane, let me know. Uh, 1195 Canadian. Let's see, that's a little bit more. <laughs> Aircraft was released in an early state with some issues uh, that has contributed to a two out of five star ratings at this point. It may improve over time, and the price is very affordable. Like I said, I don't know if it's worth it for that that kind of money. Uh, and then plenty of developers are going to be working on stuff. I mean, we've heard that PMDG is going to release something and A2A is going to be doing something. Uh, but anyways, what do you think about this? Do you have any of these aircrafts? What do you think? Do you recommend them? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, found it entertaining and useful, click that like button and subscribe if you're new here. Ring that notification bell so that way you get notified of future flight simulation content and rambling uh, content. Uh, it all helps out as far as sharing the video online and everything, doing everything I can to build this channel up and I uh, hope you'll be part of the community. All my social media links are down below. I do streaming throughout the week and uh, uh, pictures and stuff on Instagram and news on, on Twitter about the station. So um, hope you'll check all that out. Meanwhile, I'm going to answer my phone. Actually, maybe not, but <laughs> anyways, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and I will see you on another rambling video real soon. Have a killer awesome day.